Hello everyone, Hexedra here bringing you a brand new thing, Season 2 of Sink Into Madness Episode 1, a mod pack by John Bam and M1 Jordan Allen. Well this is the first time I do this, but as you all know if you've watched the other season, my nether is completely broken and I didn't like the fact that I died. I want to try to make this playthrough 100% deathless. Don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to try. And if I ever die, I'm going to keep a death count. And I'm going to play this as if I had like five or six live as we had in uh, Forever Stranded. So for the first time ever, one of my viewer, Creator Aid, suggested using the seed. Crazy Exedra S2. Supposedly it's an interesting start. So we'll see that today. So let's get started right now. This is going to take a little while. I've also optimized my start a little bit to help you uh, guys get started better. Really, like, uh, much optimized start. I've practiced a couple of times in another seed, and I feel ready to do it. Although, this is pretty hit or miss. I'm currently recording try one. I might record two or three tries, because if I die, you never know. In the first day or two, you might die just by being unlucky. It's something that you just cannot control in the beginning. So first off, let's just take a quick look around and already I can see some structures around. So yeah, oh wow, that's a very interesting seed. That's going to make it more adventure based. So old shift and hammer away to take everything in one go. Same for the tree. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of world creation lag. And we have our first tree cut. So let's transform that immediately into a crafting table and let's keep some wood. Uh, contrary to the last season, I don't think I'm going to be using much wood plank. There was too many birds glitch through the, through the floor for me to be comfortable with that. And the reason I done that is I thought I couldn't get any torch early on. But in this mod pack, they give you rubber tree. Oh, so see what I mean by this start might be good or not good? This is a probably difficult start because what happens is that I have to take down this whole big tree and the more leaves you get the more chance you get of having a creature spawn so instead of using the shift that's the trick you can use is you basically just start cutting the tree slowly this way I'm going to be making some more plank some more wood I'm going to make my uh, axe right now why? Because the axe will help me survive if I get a spawn. And instead of continuing my platform around, I'm going to expand right here in this corner like so. And I'm going to go a bit further away. How is that? Like this. And I'm going to put these two block as a backdrop so that if I get hit, so now I can do this and see, I would be ready to hit a mob. And if I get hit, I'm still in a corner. So we got really lucky, but that's how you make a safe start on a big tree. It's really, I strongly recommend that you do it that way. So you, and another one, so you don't get a surprise. So let's hit all that, and we got lucky again. And the bark is never a problem. The bark doesn't spawn any uh, creature. It's only the, it's only the leaves that spawn creatures. The other thing that I have to say right now to be careful about. Oh, I'm hearing a water creature. So that's the other thing that can happen that you have no control over. If you get a sea creature spawn that can hurt you or make a siphon to bring you away, you're pretty much dead because at this point you have no way of protecting yourself from sea creature. And not only that, you have no way of building a fence yet. And you see, I'm getting some small damage. I'm lucky that it's an easy creature. So I can just do like this and try to ignore it for now. The only luck I would have is if it came close enough to me so that I could hit it. But they usually don't come close enough to us. So I'm just going to have to try and stay away and continue with getting more trees. In the beginning, you have to rush getting some... Oh, and my first tree end, but I was ready and I had my corner. So you have to rush some... Uh, you have to rush a lot of tree in the beginning, as much as you can spare bone meal for. Because you're going to need a lot of wood. First thing you want to do is dig up. This small sea creature was hitting me and doing very little damage. But there are 
there's another bigger type of creature that throws you in the air and brings you into the water. And that's the specific, the special thing about this mod pack. If you fall in the water, you can't swim. You're basically done for. You sink down and you can't come back up. Well, I say that because right now we don't have the means to, but at some point we will have the means to come back down. So now that I'm getting more trees, I'm just, oh, don't ever forget to replant. Nope, replant. And I'm going to start making my way upstairs because I don't want to take any chance. So I'm going to transform all of that and I'm going to be making some, uh, no, not fence gate, I'm going to be making some ladder. I'm going to be making some ladder like this and I want to go at least 20, 15 up. I want to go above layer 40. So let's make 20 like that. And then is this the fence or the fence gate? This is the fence, fence gate. I'm going to need two of those. And then I'm going to need some just fe regular fence. So let's just do a couple of regular fence. Uh, like this. Perfect. So we'll go with that. Ugh. This mob is just being annoying because it's making the start more difficult by the fact that we're getting damage. We are also going to make a crook right now. We want to make a crook for two reasons. Well, three reasons. Once it's a quest that we haven't looked at yet. It's one of the quests. And two, more chance of trees and spe specifically getting some silkworm. So now that I have that, I'm going to plant one more tree, grow it, and I'm going to infest it with a silkworm so we can get some string. Usually in sky blocks, you rush string so that you're able to um, make a bed. The only thing that a bed would be good for here is respawning. And since te technically we're not supposed to die a single time, well, the bed respawning really isn't that much of a worry. I'm going to go up till... I'm at Y40. I don't want to go higher than that because of mob spawning rules that I'm going to be explaining later. I'm skipping a lot of the explanation, but when you're starting this mod pack, you you really have to rush uh, as fast as possible. And the first, what? Oh, I picked the wrong thing. And I can shift. So this is the mistake someone can make. Like now I'm using shift to cut this. If I was doing the column, all of my wood would disappear. So shift is a bit dangerous in this mod pack. You have to be careful about using it. Sorry. So like I was saying, at night, I'm going to take some time to really explain things better and go into more detail. But right now, until we have a protection platform, no time. And we need a protection platform because we're going to have a bird problem pretty soon. At night, there are birds spawning in the air. And if you don't have something to cover and hide yourself, you're basically done for. So I'm going to use the gate, uh, the gate. I'm going to put one, one gate right here, uh, like this. And then I'm going to start making, putting oak fence all around like so. So I want to make this the inside a three by, uh, yeah, three by three, one, two, three. So one, two, three. Close this like this. Perfect. And now I can close this right here all around. Okay. So that's not enough, but it's okay. I'm going to be making some more and I'm going to put a gate to exit on this side also. I'm going to create another crafting table because upstairs I want to have a crafting table and then I can make a couple more uh, fence and I'm going to need a lot more fence. So this isn't even enough, but it's enough to finish closing the site. I'm going to be going one higher like this and then I'm going to make a roof and I'm going to want to light the roof. I'm not going to be able to light the roof on the... F Ugh. Not going to be able to light the roof on the first night, but that's okay. Hopefully there shouldn't be too many mobs on it and I'll be able to get rid of those mob and then I'll be able to put some light. So let me just try and make the roof as fast as possible so I can see how much I have to cover. 
And like I said, I'm not making tile roof. I know it would prevent spawning and stuff like that. But the problem with tile is that the birds can glitch through. And if you get a bird grabbing you, in the beginning, you're basically dead. Until you have a jet pack, you're just, there's nothing you can do against bird. They grab you, they're going to bring you over water, and then they throw you off. So that's enough. I'm just going to go and harvest two or three more trees because we're going to be getting to night pretty soon and we have to be ready. So another crook and a mob, kill it, get my second crook and a second mob. So we got a kind of lucky start, but we were prepared anyway. I showed you the right way to get prepared. And we're going to grow another tree if possible. And basically I'm going for apples now. I'm hoping to get a, an apple. Whoa. That mob got really close. Good thing that we were ready for it. So this, I'm going to make two more crooks and I should make another uh, axe right now. By the way, if you didn't know this, these were easy kill. It's because look at the damage the axe does. Seven attack damage. It's also something that we're going to talk about during night when we have some time to look at the, the quest. What happened the first time I played this, which is now a while ago, is that I basically almost instantly died because I thought I was doing good. I was reading the book and trying to learn what I was supposed to do. And then night came and I didn't have an enclosed space. And because I didn't have an enclosed space, I ended up, ended up dying. Oh, I, I have time for one last tree. So let's just do one last tree. I'm just looking at where the sun is. And based on where the sun is, I'm pretty sure I have time for one last tree. Also, fast decay on the leaves, so that's always good. I'm not putting any trees because I don't want to have mobs spawning under the tree and staying alive, or mobs spawning in the tree. So now that we're up here, I'm going to transform some more wood. And basically right now what we need is a lot of fence so that we can finish protecting ourselves from the birds that are coming. Let's grab 15. I don't know if that's enough, but yeah, you can already see the birds all around. So I'm going to make the top layer to make it harder for them to come in. And then the second layer. Oh, that's not enough. That's a bit stressful, but that's how the start is with this mod pack. So let's make some more and like this, like this. And hopefully that should be enough to fully enclose yourself. The only place we don't put a second one is above the fence gate. Because if we put another one, we wouldn't be able to walk through. Uh, like this and like this. So we are secured. When I say we are secured, if I stay here, I can be grabbed by the bird. I mean, we are secured in the fact that we stand in the middle. And to make this even clearer, that's that's why I made this start. My new, I was looking for a new best platform to start from and by making it a three by three with a corridor in the center it lets us put a chest a double chest and a crafting table here and some more here it's very enclosed it's very claustrophobic but that's pretty much what we have to do for now so we finally have the time to relax a little bit and look at the quest book welcome to sink into madness the world has flooded, and the only land left are small islands and structures in an endless oceans. There are many creatures that will come after you, so use the various items and weapon in the pack to protect yourself while you prepare for battle. There are a number of bosses to kill and a quest chain to unlock the most powerful items in the game. This book will help you get started, guide you through the bosses to kill and which order to kill them in. So, if we go into it, there's unfortunately only two quest line in this. I wish it was more quests, but that's how the pack was made. The getting started and the continuing the journey. We're not nowhere close to looking at continuing the journey. It's a section is about boss progression and gaining powerful items through the process. Getting started is how to help us get started. So first, crook. A crook allows you to get increased saplings and apple drops and allow you to get silkworm. And this is a thing I didn't understand in the first time I played this. Reward our rubber sapling. I didn't quite understand why they were giving us rubber sapling right then. And I shouldn't have investigated because usually mod pack don't give you things for no reason. So for now, 
bone meal is really the thing I need the most. It's the thing that's going to be hardest to get in the beginning. So I'm going to let go of the torch and I'm going to use the bone meal. I'm going to get the bone meal. And I forgot about that music. And I'll show you why. So the reason you need the uh, rubber tree is that you get rubber from cutting raw rubber. And the raw rubber can be used to make torches. That's the big difference because the first time I played this, I didn't have torch until I had my first cobblestone furnace, which is not going to happen very soon. The other thing that I want to do differently is that I don't want to use cobblestone or dirt if I get it in a quest reward. Because in the meantime, like while I was playing my first season that I recorded for you guys, I made multiple other start just because I was trying to find an optimized start. And I found out that in only one of four start was I getting cobblestone or dirt in my quest reward, which made it kind of too cheaty to use. Because the other three times you have to find a way of doing it differently. Unless you want to play the first 40 minute of this game and say, oh, I didn't get cobblestone or dirt, let's restart. So let's continue looking at the quest progression. It also wanted us to get silkworm, silkworms. When crooking leaves, you may get a silkworm. You can infest trees, leaves with them. After it spreads and fully infests, you can crook the infested leaf for string. And we got a lot, so that's not a problem. I'm going to be taking the right one this time. And let's look at the content. 64 dirt. That's a really great cheaty start. So I'm going to be putting this in there in this corner to make sure not to use it for now. The moment that I have made the difficult part true, I'm going to use it to save time, but not before. Then beware. The waters are treacherous, so you must be very careful around water. For one, you cannot swim and losing your breath will kill you quickly. There are also many mobs that spawn in the water as well. If that wasn't bad enough, you cannot travel by boats whatsoever. You must travel by airship until you can get a jetpack later on in the game. You will be provided an airship. This quest will let you repeat it every Minecraft day just in case something happens to it. So I needed to craft a wooden axe, which I have, and it gives me Wilson and a redstone Weisendenberg. So I'm going to put those away, the Wilson and the Weisendenberg. The Wilson is nice. It's like a, a little pet, but in such a restrained area, it gets annoying really fast. I'm going to leave it there for now. The next thing it wants us to craft, uh, let's go this way around. I should have done beware for silkworm, is a sieve. sieve. With a sieve, you can sift through various materials to gather resources. You will need to put a mesh in the sieve to use it. Hold the resource you wish to sift in your hand and right click on the sieve. Dirt is a great first resource to sift for pebbles to craft cobble. So perfect, let's make a sieve. And the sieve recipe is a bit different than you're used to. Well, I say used to, but in many mod pack, it's just uh, oak wood, plank, and stick. But in this one, it also contains two oak wood. So make sure, and a plank. Make sure that you keep uh, some oak wood in your start. So now I'm able to craft the sieve. I made two. Derp. That's a little waste of resources. So let's grab the middle resource a reward pack. And let's see what's in it. A spawn blizz or spawn slime girl egg, which is used for trading, but we don't really need it in the beginning. And that's why I wanted to make it like this, because now I can put the sieve down here. Like I'm saying, I'm making a little very restricted work area. The next quest is Ammer. An ex nihilo essentio armor allows you to break down various block into others. Most commonly, cobble to gravel, gravel to sand, and sand to dust. So let's craft one of those. I'm going to break down some more wood. And the armor is built like so. And that's one hammer that we're not going to use right now. And then the left. What's in this pack? Another spawn. Oh, this one is the Mendeliz egg. So we're going to open those. I never did in my other playthrough and I regret not doing it. It's just that they annoyed me in the other playthrough. So I didn't see any real need to do it. I'm going to put the hamburger safely away. I'm only going to keep one apple on me. Uh, next quest is barrel. With a barrel, you can compose things into dirt, including saplings. You can also make clay and other things. And that gives us our glass bottle. And in this mod pack, you can use the glass bottle to carry water around and bring water. 
So that, that's probably one of the very good reason why it gives you that. I'm going to make one wooden barrel and I'm going to claim the quest and start back from the right and put it in this corner. And let's open the quest bag, another epic and a bell. So if you guys don't know what the bell is, let's put it down right here and I'm going to hit it. So very fun noise. I just wanted to show you that it's one of those things. I don't know why we get a bell. It's really troll. Like if at least it, it had a function that if a bird come too close, you hit it and it scares the bird away. Like that would have been an amazing mechanic. Oh, and I lost the bell. Oh, well, I kind of forgot that I couldn't break it with my hand. So next quest. Next quest is getting cobblestone. From sifting dirt, you will get many things, including seeds and pebbles. Various pebbles are made from many stone, including some modded stone. Stone pebbles are the most common because a lot of stone will be needed. Okay, so I need one cobblestone. The other quest line that I can make is clay. To obtain clay, fill an ex nihilo essentio barrel with water and place a dust in the barrel of water. You can fill barrels with water bottles, buckets, and various pipes. So I can't do that right now because I don't have a cobblestone. And finally, the next thing I can make is mesh. Different meshes will give you different resource. A string mesh is where you start. Place the mesh inside a sieve to use it. I can do that because I got my string. So let's do that right now. And well, let's uh, claim the quest first. And we're at the middle for this time. And let's put that right here. And it gives us an epic reward bag. Let's look at it. And it's the bell that I lost. So basically the bell has an EMC of 833. We're going to be able to break it down much, much, much later in the game. So let's look at the next uh, possible thing. Juicer. Simply OP. You will get berry bushes while you are sifting dirt. You can then juice the berries for a very saturating snack. So basically it wants us to get a bush, a juicer, and a cloudberry juice. And the juicer, let's look at the juicer, it's crafted from two stone and a button. To get stone, we'll need to uh, get a cobblestone uh, furnace first. So we're going to need our first eight cobble plus tree for that. So we're not doing that anytime soon. So the next pro progression is really the cobblestone. To get cobblestone, you put eight sapling in a wooden barrel and you wait for it to become dirt. So now I'm going to still profit. I'm going to profit from this platform. I'm not going back down for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start building my second island. So one, two, three, four away. Uh, and then I'm going to make it one, two, three, one, two, three. So one, two, three away, one, two, three away. Fill that in. And then let's close that side also. So one, two, three. Let's close this. One, two, three. So this is how much wood I'm going to need to be able to finish. Let's get all of this for now. I just want to make sure that my platform is big enough not to kill myself. And I'm going to keep this because I want to put, I'm going to get that dirt and I want to make a little bit more fences. How many more? Oh, that's only two more. So I'm going to do a little bit more and I'm going to show you why. Again, it's everything about this mod pack is about protecting yourself. So I need to close this in so I don't fall by mistake that I'm going to bring to here, which means that I'm now going to put a dirt right there and I'm going to grow a tree right here. And let me back away. Oh, I didn't keep enough stick. Oh, yes. Um, no, I didn't keep enough stick. So I still need to break it by hand. And now I can use the wooden axe for the rest, which is going to give me the wood that I'm missing to finish this. So let's come back right here, transform all of this. I'm going to be making some more stick to get my crook. I'm going to make another axe right now just to make sure I keep enough wood for the axe. And I'm going to keep enough wood to finish closing this off as much as I can. 
again everything's about being as safe as possible and I'm going to just be missing one piece of wood. I'm going to come in here so that I'm protected and build my next tree that I'm going to wooden crook and then I back away so that I cannot be pushed off the edge. Perfect. Let's grab that. Oh, so before I forget, in this chest, leave one bone meal and an extra seven. Why the one and the seven? I'll explain to you right now so that you understand. We're going to have to make a crucible, okay? And to make a crucible, it requires porcelain and clay. And porcelain and clay is made with clay and bone meal. So I need seven for that. The other bone meal is for the watering can. We need the watering can ASAP because I'm going to run out of uh, bone meal pretty soon. So the watering can, there's a special weird watering can. Let me find it. This one, that you need four cobblestone, a bowl and bone meal. So we really need this as fast as possible. That's why the extra bone meal. So I only have 12 bone meal left right now. Let me put all of this in here to make some more dirt and let's grow the next tree. Oh, wow. It's using a lot of my bone meal. And now I want to make another crook because like I just said, I need to maximize the, um, Sorry, maximize the saplings that I'm getting. Now there's something I want to try, but I'm not willing to try it right now. I want to try using the jungle sapling. The reason I want to try using the, oh, let's finish the surrounding of that platform. The reason I want to use a jungle sapling is that I think that uh, those give a lot of saplings. I'm not 100% sure but I think that they do give a lot of sapling. And if they give a lot of sapling, that would be a great start, but not if I can fall on the ground and not if they all fall beside. So now let's go around like this. This way I shouldn't fall. <laughs> it's, it's all about not falling in this mod pack for right now. First not falling in the water and now it's not falling down from too high and dying. Let's put that right there. And let's make the next, what else do I, oh, I need one more set of gate, uh, of uh, fences. So one more f set of fences. Oh no, that's actually two. One, two, three, yeah. Another second set of fences. And that's going to be all of my wood. Great. I'm gonna, this still composting. Let's finish this right now. And now this area is safe and I can be wherever I want without having to be afraid that I'm going to fall off the platform. Well, when I say fall off, I don't mean fall off by myself. I mean being pushed off the platform. So that's another one. Perfect. Let's cut that down and get that. Let's grow the next one. And you know what? I forgot one very important thing. I still have a, a piece of dirt down there. And those dirt I can't pick up because they're going to fall in the water. So usually what I do is I make a cross pattern here. Don't fill it in completely. The reason for not filling it in completely is that trees don't seem to grow when the saplings are touching each other. So I'm just putting a five by five like this so that I can check once in a while to see if something has grown. And now I only have three bone meal left. Great. And I'm out of bone meal. So now I'm at the worst possible position to be in because I'm basically in a position where I have to wait. Um, I have to basically wait for something to grow to give me my next piece. I'm going to start my next dirt. And now that I have three dirt while I'm waiting, I might as well start breaking them down. And we're going for cobblestone. So four, seven, and 11 so not even three piece of cobblestone so that's two piece of cobblestone and already i got ancient spore melon seed acacia seed pumpkin seed and the diorite and stone pebble that i don't care about and granite so let's put all of this away for now just because i don't need it in my inventory but i've got my first two cobblestone which means i can clean this quest which gives me a spruce sapling and now i'm on the left side so let's check my reward bag and oh, another one of these. Another Mendeleev's egg. Let me get rid of this. 
So now I have two choice. I can keep my cobblestone to get my two more one to make a watering can, or I could break it down to make the clay and get my um, a reward and eight more sapling. But honestly, doesn't really mean all that much getting that reward. We're really at the point where we have to try and get um, just more more cobblestone, unfortunately. Well, that's another one. Maybe I'll be able to make two, oh, another three. Not a very lucky... Did, oh, phew, it didn't break. I thought I threw one on the ground and lost it. So now I have three cobblestone, which is bringing me really close to a couple to a um oh wow i'm searching for my words to my watering can it's really what i need oh perfect please give me eight sapling 12 sapling perfect hopefully i'll be able to make my watering can right now because that's going to get me started really well so let's break this no nope, this didn't give me any mob let's plant one back and come back right here oh i'm just waiting nothing down here i'm basically at a point where i have to wait right now basically just wait while i'm waiting i'm going to use this time to craft another uh, bone crook and you know what i've been wanting to try it forever and i never really tried it so i'm going to try it this time i'm going to go down put the four jungle sapling and see if i can make a big jungle tree grow that would that would be seriously amazing it's it going to be scary but it would be seriously amazing so let's grab that dirt and six stone perfect which gives me my fourth cobblestone and that's the start that we wanted because now oh now i can get this wood into bowls and i can get my one bone meal now i can bone meal cobblestone 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 one bowl and I get my watering can, which now will let me just water that tree and grow it. But now we're at night again. So I'm kind of in a situation where, uh, oh, and I forgot something very important. This is not lit it up. So now I can get mobs spawning on that surface. So let's leave all of that. And we now have to button down for the night. No chance. That's what we have to do. Because if you look around, like, there are some birds. They're far, but I don't know if they're far enough. I'm going to try and water this, see if I can get it to grow. I was hoping for just one last tree before I had to button down for the night. Come on. And they don't grow really well at night without a light source. Look, this is also a special water mob. These birds, the blue one, and these are really hard. The yellow one, and the white one, I think you can hit and kill in one shot. But the other ones are pretty hard to kill. Okay, so it's not working. I don't want to take a chance because I don't want to die on the first episode. So let's get back in here and at least look at the rest for now. So basically, we now have these Nosbear. We now have the bush, I'm pretty sure. Manual detect. Mm, I think this one detect when we have all three. We have a blackberry and gooseberry, but I don't think that it needs to be specifically that one. Because I remember in the first episode not getting a snowsberry bush and be able to get it. The one thing I'm going to do, though, is that we need to start getting food pretty soon. So I'm going to plant my berry bush right here. And they don't need to be planted on dirt. That's something I didn't know in the beginning. And the other thing that I forgot to do in the last playthrough is that I didn't put down enough of them. So I'm just going to put these two down right there so that I have as many chance of getting some berries as possible because juice is going to be my main food source for a while. So, oh, I forgot. We did the watering can, which is going to give us a cup of coffee and let's claim the right one. Let's look at this reward bag and, oh, a wand. So the one's going to be very fun for when we're building because it's going to make uh, construction much faster. Let me get rid of everything else. I don't need all of this stuff on me in the beginning. It's just annoying having it on me. It, I'm not putting it away for safety reason because as you know, if I've died, I've died and I lose whatever I lose. But now we have a little bit more time. So 
My main goal right now is to, yes, get started with this, but it's to get to the cobblestone generator as fast as possible. But there is cobble there. This island probably has cobble and mineral. And these small island only have like a chest. And what's, I don't know what's in that one. That one is one I haven't seen in a long time. I've seen one, but I don't remember exactly everything that it has. And I want to use the Weisenberg to go and visit these place and get a jump start on resource, which makes me think before I forget that I need to make a, um, I need to make a pickaxe because once we go and want to get cobblestone, we'll need the pickaxe for that. The problem with using the Weisenberg right now is that I don't have fuel for the Weisenberg. I need, I say I don't have fuel. But I don't know if the Weisenberg can use wood as a fuel source. I think it absolutely needs charcoal or coal. In which case, we need eight cobblestone to be able to make our um, a, a furnace. Wow, there's so many birds. Like, it's just my second night and that many bird. I find it a bit annoying. Oh, one other thing while I'm thinking about it. So... Bottom left, if you look at the bottom left, it says difficulty 2, and there's a difficulty bar that's going to go from green on the left to complete red on the right. Mobs get harder, spawns get more often, more special mobs, and more special event. Special event, that's what I wanted to talk about. If you're coming fresh to this, you don't know about special events. Every two or four nights, there can be a special event. It's not guaranteed, but the height, the chance is really, really high. And these special events, they're murder. They spawn so many mob. If you don't have a small enclosed space where you can hide, you're screwed. Which brings me to wanting to craft more gate. I'm going to show you. I hate the gates, but in the beginning, you don't really have a choice. The reason I hate the gates is that I'm going to put another gate right here. If I open this gate, as you can see, I can walk through, no problem. But I can't hit a mob through the gate. So I could leave this open to travel around, and when there's a special event, I close it. But if I need to kill mobs, I can't. I need to break down the gate first. But honestly, with all of my other playthrough that I've tried, if you're not fully enclosed, you can get... That's not the one I wanted to make, sorry. If you don't get fully enclosed, you can get into a situation when mobs can just jump into your base. And if that happens, you're pretty much done for. Oh, that's the fence gate again. I'm making the same mistake. At least I checked this time. So, <laughs> no, I was going to make the mistake. It's the fence gate that I want because I want to be able to close the other side. So I'm going to put it down right here. If I need to remove it, I'll remove it. And in the meantime, I'll keep them open so that I can at least travel in and out easily. But as I was saying, so see this bird, this bird is close enough that I can attract it. Oh, or it can just despawn when you look at it. That was really weird. I don't remember having a bird so close looking at it and having it despawn. So sorry, special event. In one more night, so in between day three and day four, we're going to have probably, like I think it's 85% chance, we're going to have a special event. And that special event, if I'm not close to getting in here and closing everything, it's going to kill me, for sure. So it's a very scary thing that you have to be careful about. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two things. I'm When they come, I'm going to go down there and try to grow a jungle sapling tree. An irregular tree. And then I'm going to put the Weisenberg down and I'm going to see if I can power the Weisenberg with oak wood. Because if I can power the Weisenberg with oak wood, I'm going to travel down there to that island because that island seems to have a lot of cobblestone well no 
to be 100% honest, I'm not sure it has cobblestone. It seems to be some kind of stone. Might as well travel to that one, but the problem with that one is that I'm afraid that that one might have some mob inside or a spawner or something like that. And if there's a spawner in there, that could be very dangerous. But I want to try the Weisenberg. I want to see if it works without charcoal, because if it works without charcoal, it means that we get to have a better start much faster. And I'm getting tired of talking, but I have to wait for the night to be over. So that's the plan for the next episode, because we're at 40 minutes. I'm going to include in this one trying to grow the jungle sapling, the jungle tree, but that's pretty much it. And I'm going to start the next episode with adventure. So this one will be called the perfect setup, the perfect start, sorry, which it, you've already seen the title because I'm recording this and I've posted it already. And the second episode is going to be the first adventure. And I want to adventure a lot more. In the last episode, uh, in the last uh, season, I had said I was going to travel a lot more, but I was so scared of dying that I didn't, I ended up not wanting to travel anywhere. And I feel that it made the playthrough a bit more boring and a bit harder to start because I was always running for resource. I was always at a lack for resource. Whereas if I had traveled from the beginning, I would have been, I would have gotten my iron way faster. And we haven't talked about resource yet. If you're new to this mod pack, there's something special about resource and I want to keep it for a later episode where I'm going to explain how resource work because you've seen the ex nihilo sieve and immediately if you if most people know what ex nihilo is your first thought goes to, to oh we're going to be sifting for resource we're going to be creating cobblestone that we're going to be breaking down into um, uh, gravel or sand or stuff like that and then we're going to be sieving that for resource. But no, that's not how this mod pack works. I'm going to show you how resource works. Let me take this and that and another tree. Let's kill it. And I'm hearing a mob. And I'm kind of worried that not all of the birds have despawned. Like, I don't know why this bird is still there. Oh, this mob right there that you see this little fish, that's the fish that can hurt you from far. It's called an abtu. And it's a fish, it's a mob that we're going to need. Oh! And that mob, I never remembered the name, is the mob you get when you break trees and... Um, wow! Two! A Jehovah or Jivoa or something like that. And these mob, they really hurt a lot. Right now they don't do a lot of damage, but as you go up in difficulty, oh my god do they hurt. They lock on you and they make a ton of damage. So let's put all of these. Oh, that's why I wanted the fence gate. So that I can le at least do a little something like that to get a bigger wall. Let's use the watering can. Uh, can I eat? No. Let's use a watering can and see if I can grow a giant jungle tree. I'm kind of hoping, but at the same time... <gasps> oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, yes, I thought it might have broken my base. I was so worried. Oh, that would have been bad. So this is really good. I, I'm not using the uh, shift to break everything right now because I'm kind of worried that I might lose most of the thing being, most of the sapling being generated. But see, I'm doing this slowly, one by one by hand, and I already have five sapling. I've already replaced my sapling. I do think that I've confirmed that this is the new OP way to start. So let's shift and do this, and yeah, two dead pine. That went down there, and I got only nine sapling. So let's go down slowly and see if I... Oh yes, I got them. Oh, a special dead pine. Thank God it's in the beginning and they're easy to kill. Oh, and that's another thing I forgot I wanted to talk about. I didn't think I was going to get one. A winter gift. When you play this mod pack, the li li lichen lichenite mobs, you get these things in December. Which is going to make things funny, but I'm not ready to open them because not all of them are good. 
So let's just finish that tree. And let's go right here. Can I? Oh. oh! I almost killed myself. That was super dumb. I thought that the saplings were there. See, that's the problem. Now, I didn't get that many saplings. But, oh, all of these can spawn a mob. So for now, I'm just going to grab a couple of wood. And I'm in a weird situation where I'm basically just really scared of harvesting that tree. And unfortunately, like, I don't want to lose all the resources it's going to give me. But at the same time, I can't take the chance of dying so early in the playthrough. So let me just do one quick thing. I'm going to eat. I mean, I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to harvest the whole tree. And yes, some of it fell in a place where I can catch it. So I got the trees and I got 49 wood. So that's amazing. That's really much better than I thought I was going to be able to get. Let's make another axe and finish harvesting the rest. This part I'm not so worried about. Perfect. So I think that's really the trick. It's amazing how much you can get. And if I had a magnet, this would have been just really, really great because I would have been able to get all the part. So the moment I get a magnet, this will be honestly the most amazing way to get resource. And unfortunately, that's where I'm going to have to conclude this episode. I'm going to end it here, but I'm going to get ready for next episode, where in the next episode, we're going to start right off the bat from this platform. You know what? Oh, no, that's a harder one. And you see that that's what I meant. Oh, God, please, 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 please. Let's get in here. Close, close and a hamburger. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, I had to get a much harder mop. So this is where I'm going to end the first episode, trying to survive. You see that harder one takes three hit to kill. And in the time that it took for me to try and kill it, it almost killed me. So I'm going to just hide in here and go directly to my second episode, which should come soon because in the beginning, I have all my plan made and I know where I'm going. So guys, let me show you the platform. That's where I'm going to end. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.